I am going to explain about how to install Ubuntu desktop version 15.10 First you need to make a bootable device using the Ubuntu ISO image the bootable device may be a pen drive or a DVD make it as a bootable device using the ISO image and then make it boot after booting the screen will appear as install and click install Ubuntu and they select the language here and click install this third party software if you need the first option is erase disk and install ubuntu this will erase all the data in the disk and will install ubuntu and the second option which is given is encrypt the new ubuntu installation for security this will create a security key for the installation If you want to use LVM in this Ubuntu installation, you can click this. And if you want your partitions to be created on your own, you can choose this, which is something else. And click continue. And now you can create your own partitions. and click add here and select the partition type you can select the file system here which is ext4 and you can select the mount point here so select slash boot and choose the size for the boot partition and click ok and click this free space and select add to create the next partition the type of new partition will be a primary and select the mount point and give the size for the slash Now create the next partition, click R and select primary and now we can create the swap partition for swap I am giving 2 GB because I am using 1 GB of RAM the swap must be the double of the RAM we are using so I am giving 2 GB After creating all the partition, you can just click install now and click continue for writing the changes to the disk. Now select the place for getting the time zone. Now select the keyboard layout which is English and click continue now you can create a user for the system
Now enter the password for the user. and you can choose any of this option if you want to log in automatically you can click here or if you are required you may password to log in you can select this and click continue now the installation process has started and it takes some time Now the system files are getting installed. Now the installation process is completed. And you can now click restart now. After restarting, now the login pages appear. Now enter the password to login. Now the OS is installed successfully. Thank you.